So the Qatar Jockey Club Stakes is next, and this is a mile and a half group two for four yards and upwards. Top one is Blood Harvest, Leon Van Rensburg, Capel Cardington for Ryan Costello. Destination Bomber for Mark Jones, Fancran, Daniel French, It's a Trap, Joshua Sutherland, Revenge Time, Django Scalzo for Shadwell, Scriptwriter, Ryan Costello, Terminator, Paul O'Neill, Viana Du Costello for Darren Thompson, Benchmark for Hems, Brother in Arms for Leon Van Rensburg, Caddo Fern, David Robertson, Ellis Tan, Trace, Thomas A, Jacobean for Paul Rhodes and Keep Your Distance for Django. 16 runners then. And Capable Carlington on the flat for Ryan Costello. Capable Carlington over jumps for me. And here they go then. And Ellis Tan, Trace is the first one to show. Capable Carlington. A little bit slow to go at the back. But it's Ellis Tan, Trace who's the early leader from Revenge Time in second. Then Viana Di Castello is second. Jacobean in third. And fourth, sorry. Then comes Blood Harvest and Scalzo. Brothers in arms after that one. Then Fan Cran with Benchmark and Terminator mid division as well. Looking towards the back. Keep your distance, Capable Carrington. And Scriptwriter are the back three. But it's Ellis Town Trace who is the leader by a couple of lengths to Revenge Time in second. Then Viana Di Castello on the outside in third. With Blood Harvest behind that one in fourth. Jacobean on the inside. And the Paul Rhodes Colours has just taken a 1 2 in the 2000 guineas. With Scalzo and Caddo Fern, then Terminator and Benchmark. Fancraft of that, not that 2000 guineas, a 1000 guineas. And the back marker is capable Carlington. And Ellis Town Trace then is in the lead by a couple of lengths. Viana Di Castello in the Maroon with the, with the white sleeves on the outside. Just now being driven up to take a challenge for that leader and has now gone on. So Viano Du Castello is the new leader. Fancran is cruising into a pretty challenging position as they pass the five furlong mark. But Viano Di Castello is the leader from Fancran second. Scalzo in the blue is third. Revenge Tower in the yellow is four. Then Terminator and Benchmark and Caddo Fern and Blood Harvest. And then Jacobean and it's a trap. And then keep your distance after that. Ruler in Arms is dropping away at the back, and I think that one might be injured. But it's Fan Cran and Viano Di Castello. Viano Di Castello is still just a little bit. Fan Cran on the outside. Here comes Jacobean. Now swinging through on the outside. Keep your distance. He's trying to get through on the inside. They race down towards the final two furlongs, and it's Jacobean from Keep Your Distance. Viano Di Castello and Fan Cran. These four are clear of Scalzo. Benchmark's trying to run on. Suddenly the Rhodes horse hits the wall. Jacobean's dropped away, but it's Keep Your Distance in the lead. Being post. Uh, Pressed now by Fan Cran. Viana Di Castello is trying to get into it. And here comes Blood Harvest on the outside. Blood Harvest coming with a wet sail on the outside into the final half furlong. But keep your distance is sticking on in front. It's keep your distance from Blood Harvest and Fan Cran. Blood Harvest, but keep your distance is going to take it. Keep your distance, Blood Harvest, Fan Cran, Caddo Fern, Revenge Time, Scalzo. And the two dropped away towards the end. You can see the back four or five are. Some way adrift, but that was a pretty impressive performance from Keep Your Distance. Blood Harvest come through with a wet sail. Fancran was up there for a long time as well. It's a trap. Didn't finish well because that's that's a mistake. That's not fourth. It's Keep Your Distance has won it for Django. And Blood Harvest is second for Leon Van Rensburg. Fancran for the man of many colours, Daniel French in third. Revenge time for Django was fourth. And Caddo Fern for David Robertson was fifth. And down towards the bottom, you can see there, Brother in Arms for Leon van Rensburg was indeed injured. That's why it dropped away the way that it did.